Doop, 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 doop. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really good about all this. I'm really enjoying it. I'm feeling very grateful. And look who's waiting for me right there. <laughs> I'm feeling very grateful that Mira and John are here too because they're bringing a lot to the trip for sure. And uh, I gotta go now and play fetch, right? You ready to play fetch? Oh, she's are you ready? ready? Yes. yes. <laughs> are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. All right. Yeah. <laughs> we have had a wonderful night here with Sean and Becca. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yes, right. thank you. It, it is a beautiful Monday morning. We're feeling recharged, re energized, re everything, really. Let's start the week off right. No crashies, no whammies. No, wait, no, I did whammies too soon. No, I messed up my own chant. No crashies, no flatties, no whammies. Whoop whoo. <laughs> it's Monday, you know, brain, brain's not firing up yet. That was a close call. It was, good thing John was here to keep me in line. You know what I've just noticed as I'm riding slowly uphill for hours here is that it's a lot drier here. It's a lot browner. And this is more what I thought all of Montana would look like. I was actually really surprised at how green and lush it was the first three days. It looked almost like the Pacific Northwest. And now it looks like the way I thought it would look. This is what Colorado looks like. It's kind of brown by this point in the summer. Not a lot of water. It's still beautiful, it's just not lush and green. This is how Mira stays cool. Usually we have nice big rivers for her, but today a little drainage dish does the job, right? <laughs> I want to do that too, Mira. Can you dig me a tub? This morning before we left town and while I still had cell reception, I called my grandma, my Nana, to wish her a happy birthday. Today is her 87th birthday. And she sounded so happy to hear from me. She said her friends had thrown her a party last night with pizza and she even drank a beer. <laughs> she's so cute. And the reason why it's a big deal is because she's going through serious dementia right now and it's getting worse by the month by the day and she forgets a lot of stuff and it's hard to see somebody you love go through that you know and there might be a day when I call her and she doesn't remember me you know so today she did remember me and she was really excited so happy birthday Nana you know, life is a beautiful, tragic, exciting, heartbreaking thing. And the older I get, the more I appreciate every single day on this planet. Because nothing's a guarantee. Nothing. And you never know when it's gonna change. And uh, that's why I wake up psyched pretty much every day. People always ask me, are you always so positive and, and happy? And the answer is no, I'm a human. I go through all sorts of emotions. You've seen a lot of them. I like to uh, look on the bright side of things for sure. And when things are bad or frustrating, there's, it's momentary. This too shall pass. You know, it's not gonna last forever. Just like uphills and mountains and headwinds. <laughs> Well, your peanut butter looks way better than mine. <laughs> yeah. What's that? 
Oh, peanut butter and co. Dark chocolate dreams. Mm. Will you trade lunch with me? <laughs> Mira, what'd you bring for lunch? Alright, we're on a bit of a uh, technical road here. Pretty beat up, which is fun. I'll take this over a, a washboard road any day. Yeah, it's beautiful back here. No more cars, no motorized vehicles allowed, no ATVs kicking up dust. That uphill was uh, pretty good, pretty good and technical. Totally washed out road and I am incredibly impressed that John just powered that beast right up it. Didn't put his foot down once. It's impressive, very impressive. And then of course Mira was just dancing around the whole time, bouncing, having the time of her life off leash. Log, log, it's big, it's heavy, it's wood. Log, log, it's better than bad, it's good. <laughs> what are you doing in there, Mira? You better not jump on me, you are covered in mud. <laughs> Find another puddle. Way to go, my man. Nice work. Good work. Yeah, that was fun. Eh? So that was a serious uphill. That was uh that was mountain biking, for sure. Yeah. The first bit of real technical stuff I'd say we've seen on this route so far. Left turn, Mira, left turn. <laughs> Let's go. John, what should we get? Oh, I think we should get something cold. Yeah, I think and so. And bubbly. What goes on here in Basin? Well, there's, uh, they used to be a huge mining town. Um, there were 6,000 people here once. Really? Do you get a lot of bikers through, cyclists? Oh, yeah. Yeah? All the time. All the time? Yeah, I mean, this year not as much because of the COVID, but usually. 
the bartender just said that this bar has been here since 1907 and it started out as a brothel and then a speakeasy and I guess it's been a watering hole as he says for a long time. So this happens more often than not. We stop at a place thinking we're just going to get a quick drink and then keep, we're going to continue on riding but we meet these nice guys and they're like well you can stay in the community hall if you want for five bucks. So you know it's 6 45 p.m. We've ridden enough today, 30 miles, something like that. A lot of up, serious uphill, 5,000 feet of elevation. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna sleep in the community hall. Go in, I'll, I'll give you a tour. Check it out. I can just picture old time dances where all the boys are sitting on this side and all the ladies are sitting over here hoping the boys will ask them to dance. <laughs> this is cool and it has a stage. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Pretty good, huh? Look at this. And this is very important. Power strips for charging. And how cool of them that they offer this service to the cyclists that come through town. Five bucks, that's not bad at all. I would call that a screaming deal because any hotel in America these days on the side of a highway, the cheapest you can find are like $75 and usually pretty stanky. Hey John, do you have the do -si do in Canada? Do you know what that is? I've heard of the dosi. -si it's American like square dancing. Grab your partner, dosi do. -si -do. Do, -do, 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 do. We can dosi -si do all night. This is so fun. I've been really impressed by how this every little town on this entire route has embraced us riders. And they're desperate for us this year because there aren't many. Just a trickle, they all say. They're like, we wish there were more, but COVID. And we have our own yard for Mira to play in. Are you excited, Mira? Go find a stick. Did you get the itch? Did you get it out? Oh, you wanna come say hi? Yes, I gotta have my good night kisses from Mira. Oh, you were so good today at that steep hill. Yeah, you were. You were too, John. <laughs> <laughs> we know who the star of the show is. Yeah, Mira is la estrella. Can you ever imagine touring without her now? No. No. I mean, I have imagined it. It would be <laughs> physically way easier, but it wouldn't be as fun. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have like some specific memories traveling with Mira that have just been, that are outstanding from all the other ones? Uh, yes, yeah, San Ignacio in uh, Baja Sur, in the Baja Divide. Went into the grocery store, set up the bike. She's in the shade. She's in her basket. So a normal setup. I can go in and she's comfortable. But when I came out this time, there were maybe half a dozen or, or more people with their cell phones posing with her, taking pictures with her. <laughs> when I came out, it was just a, you know, a small wall of, of smiling Mexican faces. Yeah. And uh, that happens, that sort of thing happens more often than not, but that one sticks out. Yeah. 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 Hey Mira, do you know that you're famous? Do you know that you're famous? You're YouTube famous. You have a lot of fans. Say hi to your fans. Woo, Mira. She's distracted. She doesn't care about fame. She's not about fame. She's about being a dog. So many people around the world love you. Is it because you're sweet? Is that why they love you? Because you're a little bit goofy? Because you're good looking? A mix of everything? <laughs> Look at this. That little baby Mira. <laughs> You checking her feet? Yeah. They're pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. What do you check them for? Uh, the pads mostly, especially the front ones. Like the pad this in this position here, mm -hmm. that's an easy one to get a little flapper. And you can see there's like, you know, some little scrapes and bits and the nails aren't broken. And the only one I need to trim on this strip pretty much is this Duclaw one. Yeah. The rest of them just get worn. <laughs> yeah. It's like wearing out bike tires. Yeah, pretty much. It's a good thing they grow back. Hey, sweetheart. Ready to roll over? Ready? This way. Hey. 
Ready? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Girl. I have decided to sleep outside tonight. I just like fresh air and there's a bit of a scent of like Lysol in there that I'm not loving, but I do love that there's a bathroom. I think John's sleeping in there tonight though. I think so. I'm going to sleep on the main stage. <laughs> <laughs> the main stage. Yeah. Rock and roll. Yeah. Another amazing day here on planet Earth riding bikes with this guy and this girl. Thanks for Thanks for joining the adventure. Yeah, well, thanks for having us. Of course, man. Yeah, it's been a, I mean, it's been a lot of fun. It was last minute. Yep. But uh, yeah, these towns, you know, that we pop through, there, there's always something going to happen. Yep. There's always some road magic that's coming our way. It seems like. Yeah. So it's it's good. All right. Say good night to everybody. Say good night to everybody. Say good night. Say good night. Good night. Good night.